but I want to talk about lines in three-dimensional space. Before starting this, let me make two preliminary remarks. First of all, we're going to think of lines as a kind of parameterized curves in three-dimensional space. Now, parameterized curves in 3D are just like parameterized curves in 2D. There's just one additional variable. So I don't think that will be any problem. And the second remark is that we're going to identify points in three-dimensional space with three component vectors. So a point in space is described by three numbers, the x, y, and z coordinates. And a vector is also described by three numbers, its three components. So they're both represented by the same thing, and we'll just identify them. And geometrically, what this means is that we identify a point P with a vector that corresponds to the arrow from the origin to P. OK, so now we can talk about the parameterization of a line in space. So. So the parameterization of a line in space looks like r equals r0 plus t times v. So here, r equals x of t, y of t, z of t. Really, I should say this is r of t. But this is a point on the line. Um, depending on t. So t is the time parameter. Um, now r0 with components x0, y0, z0 is a base point on the line. And V, let's say it's A, B, C, is a tangent factor to the line. So to describe a line, you need to pick a point on the line, and you need to pick a tangent factor to the line, and then you can write down this parametric equation. Uh, you can choose different points on the line and different tangent vectors, and you'll get different equations. And there are also other parametric equations which are not in this form at all. So this is a convenient way to describe a line. So let me draw a picture to explain what's going on. So here's the origin. And here's our line that we want to describe. So we pick any point on the line and call this R0. So R0, we're thinking of this as the vector from the origin to this point on the line. The next, we need to pick a tangent vector to the line. So that means some vector which is parallel to the line, namely the difference between two different points on the line. So V could be a vector like this. And now, we're, let's think about this vector here. So this is the vector r0 plus v. If I take another copy of v like this, then this vector is the vector r0 plus 2v. If I go in the opposite direction of v, then this vector is r0 minus v. 
uh, this vector is R0 plus a third V, and so on. So you can see from the picture that if we look at vectors of the form R0 cross TV, then as T ranges over all of the real numbers, we'll get all of the points on the line. So this is where the parametric equation for the line comes from. You can also expand this in coordinates. So in, in, if we write out all of these vectors, it says that x of t, y of t, d of t equals x0, y0, d0 plus t times a, b, c. And so when you have an equation of two vectors, that means that the x components of both sides are equal, the y components of both sides are equal, and the z components of both sides are equal. So this gives us three equations we can write down, namely x of t equals x0 plus t times a, y of t equals y0 plus t times b, and z of t equals d0 plus t times c. So these are the equations um, one component at a time, and this is the vector version of it. So these two equations say the same thing. The vector version is a little more compact, and this looks more like the usual way that we write parametrized curves. Now, an important example of this is to describe the line between two points. So let's call these points R0 and R1. So if you have two distinct points in space, there's a unique line going through both of them. And how can we write down the equation for it? So let's draw a picture. So here's the line. Here's the origin. Here's R0. And here's R1. Now to describe a line in the uh, parametric form that we had before, we need a point on the line and a tangent vector to the line. Now we have a point on the line. In fact, we have two of them. Let's just take R0 to be this point. So our equation will be R of t equals R0 plus t times what? Well, now we need a tangent vector to the line, which can be the difference between two points on the line. So there's an obvious candidate. Let's just take a vector going from R0 to R1 and call this v. So this vector is R1 minus R0. So we put that here. And this is the equation for the line between two points. You could also expand this a little bit as 1 minus t times R0 plus t times R1. Now, in a parameterized curve like this, if we don't specify the range of t, then the default is that t is over the entire real line. However, we might also want to look at just part of the line. For example, we could look at the line segment. from R0 to R1. So what is the equation for this? Well, it's the same equation, it's just we're only going to consider some t. And which t are we going to consider? Well, t equals 0 corresponds to R0. So this is t equals 0. And t equals 1 corresponds to R1. And the line segment consists of the values of t between 0 and 1. So this is the same equation but now we just have t going from 0 to 1.